Hey everyone, we're live. My name is Grace Chavez. I'm nearly today's news editor and Instagram manager. And y'all, I am tired. It has been a very long week, but here we are for Discover New Music. I am so excited because today I'm going to be having on Jacob Stanifer. He's an awesome independent artist, and I'm super excited for you guys to get to know him. Uh, he just released a new album at the beginning of August called Full Circle. Great album. I encourage you all to listen to it. And I see he's in here now, so I will add him on and we can get started. If Instagram will let me, hopefully. All right, there we go. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing today? Good, thanks. So just going to be a quick interview, getting to know you, and for people who have, don't know you or haven't heard your music, just tell us about yourself and how you got started. Yeah, super cool. I'm excited to be here. Um, yeah, like you said, for those of you that don't know me, um, my name is Jacob Sandifer. I'm an independent artist, writer, producer. I kind of do a lot of things. Um, based here in Nashville, I'm 21, been doing music for a while, but um, just had my debut album come out about a month ago, and yeah, super exciting. Awesome, and you went to college at Visible Music College. How did that help shape your career? I did, yeah, it was super cool. Um, so I grew up in, like, outside of Columbus, Ohio, middle of the country, um, didn't have a lot of music friends, and I, I wanted to go to school for music, um, just something in music. I ended up finding Visible Music College, and um, some of my friends are in the chat. What's up, guys? <laughs> And uh, yeah, super cool. It's it's like this tiny Christian music school um, in downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I had no idea, like, I, I didn't know anything about Memphis before moving there, but ended up being such a cool experience. Like, um, so cool to just be surrounded by people that love music. And like, I was never in an environment like that until getting to college. Um, and then on top of that, it was a Christian school too. So we got to do a lot of discipleship, um, Bible stuff. It was super cool. So I think career-wise, it was like very beneficial for me um, just being in that sort of environment, um, just a creative musical and, and Christian on top of that environment too. Um, met some some people that I'm, I'm sure will be lifelong friends. Um, actually, how I met Kevin at New Release Today, ended up doing my internship, uh, my second internship with NRT. Um, so I, I met you before and done some work together and stuff so that was that was a super cool experience um getting connected with new release today we also hosted um i think the past three years of the we love awards so i've been able to like help behind the scenes and stuff with that wrote the the theme music did a lot of the audio production last year um so yeah visible music college was super awesome it was founded by ken stortz um who was like one of the founding members of skillet too. So the, the professors and just the faculty there are super industry focused, like they've all been either are currently or were previously in, in music in some some aspects. So, um, yeah, super cool experience. Nice. Yeah. The only reason I've heard of Visible Music College is because of the We Love Awards. So yeah. it's cool uh, how that all came about. So, yeah, it's crazy. That's how I found out about you. So <laughs> that's cool. And then uh, at the beginning of August, you mentioned how you released your debut album, Full Circle. Uh, what's the inspiration behind that project? Yeah, I think um, I think there's a lot of inspiration that went into it. But I, I think I could probably boil it down to like two things. Um, one of them just being like writing through experience. A lot of the songs are just like about life, um, stuff that we've been going through. But a lot of the songs you know, or about COVID and, and just kind of navigating through that time, just a lot of unknown and um, like stuff that we're all feeling. So I think um, like each one of the individual songs is kind of just an experience that I went through. And it, it's me um, just processing through that. I think writing in a lot of ways is just a way for me to process and, you know, get what I'm feeling or what I'm trying to say out, out of my head. Um, and, and just kind of navigating and experiencing the, just the balance between, you know, broken humanity and a God that is perfect and loves us. And like that, that tension and it's, it's crazy. It, it doesn't always make sense, um, but it's so cool. It gives us a lot to write songs about. So I think that's one thing. Um, but then the big inspiration, I think, especially with the title and just the overall concept um, was just this idea of like a lot of things in my life coming full circle um I, I think specifically just to name a few like I was wrapping up college um and kind of it's a season in my life that I I didn't really like in in the thick of it didn't really know what was happening 
or under, didn't understand a lot of what was going on. But like looking back on it, I could just see how God was preparing that process like every step of the way and provided every step of the way. Um, I got married back in December um, to the like girl I've been praying for my entire life. And it was just crazy, like looking back to see all of these things um, just come full circle. And so like the title track is actually the last the last song on the album. It's just kind of this this um, idea of like looking back and it's just like it, it's funny how, how all these things work together, um, like for the good of those that love God. And um, just, yeah, just kind of looking back and. It all makes sense when we look back. It, it doesn't make sense when we're in it. Um, and just kind of the idea of like trusting that there is a process and there is um, there, there's a full circle going on. And regardless of where you are in the circle, um, like it's going to make sense someday. So I think that was a big inspiration behind the project. That's awesome. And you mentioned kind of how a lot of these songs came out of COVID. And I've heard that a lot from so many artists on these live streams. Um, how did that kind of shape your music and what was the pandemic like for you as an independent artist? Yeah, I, I think it was tough. I mean, it's tough for all of us artists in, in a lot of ways. Um, I think it was also really good for me. It gave me a lot of time um, just to like be by myself and write and create. Um, and I think just being busy and like in college and just living, you know, fast paced life having a chance to kind of slow down. And I, I wrote a couple of songs about that, I think was really good too. Um, like literally just to slow down and process and like reflect on kind of what's happened. And just this idea of like, um, like what's left when you take away the routines and, and like all the plans and things that we just automatically do, like what's left. Um, so I think in a lot of ways, it, it shaped me as an artist and me, or this project um, to more of like a reflective like okay let's let's slow down and just like see where we are kind of thing um, versus just you know being in the groove and, and making music when I could it was it was much more reflective process I think than I was like intending it for it to even be when I started on it so yeah it was kind of cool how that that worked out yeah so awesome. and that kind of leads to the next question uh, what's next for you do you have any more new music coming out Yes, definitely lots more music. Um, I've actually got a really cool project coming out with this new thing. Um, I can't say a lot about it, but it's called Young Pop Renegades. Um, Matthew Parker, Neon Feather, Chris Howland, a lot of a lot of really cool artists are kind of coming together doing this cool project. I think we're announcing more on it tomorrow, um, but we've got some really cool stuff coming out October 1st um, through there. So I've got a couple things through that. And then I've just been doing a lot of co-writing um, trying to like this this album this last project was just completely myself and I, I think it was really important for me to do that just kind of take some time to focus on like me and my sound and, and what I'm about but I've really enjoyed getting back into the writing room just um, just creating with other people I've kind of missed or it didn't realize how much I missed that so that's kind of been my goal for this fall I've got a lot of cool collaborations coming up and stuff and then probably January I'll start I'll start working on the next record so it's exciting. I'm sure this is a really exciting time for you. Yeah, it's been it's been cool. We uh my wife and I just moved to Nashville to like oh, two nice. and a half months ago. So we've been just meeting a lot of cool people. I mean it's it's such a crazy town. Like everybody you run into is is in music in some way. Um so it's been it's been fun just meeting with people, getting to create with people. Um yeah, super exciting. Nice. And you also have Stand Up for Studios. Uh tell us about that. Yeah, so in addition to the artist thing, um, I also love like helping people do that too. Um, I like for me, writing music, creating music, putting it out is such an important creative outlet for me, like I was saying earlier. Um, but it's also like super, super rewarding when I get to like help other people do that, help other people tell their stories. Um, it's something I've enjoyed since I got into music. And um, yeah, so I've been doing it kind of part time, just production work and, and odd things here and there working for some indie artists through college. And then when I graduated this past May, I went full time with my production business standard for studios. So it's been definitely a process like getting it up and running and, you know, getting it to where, you know, I've got full time work, but it's been so much fun just working with all kinds of independent artists and doing some work with new release today, mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. So yeah. That's awesome. So you're doing all the things. You're doing production and music and yes, I I try my best to wear a lot of hats. I I always tell people I get bored if I wore the same one every day, but 
yeah, it's it's fun. I I love I love being a part of the entire creative process. I would get bored if I was just a writer, or just a mixing engineer. Um, so kind of being and especially like working with other people, other independent artists. Um, it's super cool when I can kind of be somebody to walk them through the entire process. And, you know, we're not hiring five or six or seven different people. It's like, it's very much a collaborative, you know, full of trust um, environment that we kind of work through the whole process. So I love doing that. Nice. And then I always do rapid fire questions on these live streams. Just some quick questions for you to answer. You ready? Yeah, shoot. Okay. So biggest musical inspiration. Ooh, man, it changes every day. Um, right now I'm going to go with Ryan Tedder, lead singer, One Republic. Nice. And favorite instrument. Got to go with keys. I, I feel mm -hmm. most home with keys. Nice. And coffee or tea? Controversial question. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can I, can I suggest something else? Because I really don't drink sure. either. Um, <laughs> sparkling water has been my go-to, oh, yeah. like bubbly, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So is LaCroix okay? Are you good with LaCroix? Yeah, I'm good with it. Okay. I, don't, I don't have beef with anything. So. Yeah, I know some people hate that. Some people love that. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've actually been like making my own too. My buddy got me a like a soda stream. So I've oh, been cool. kind of making my own concoctions. Pretty fun. Nice. And favorite movie? Ooh. Um, I'm a big fan of The Truman Show. It's an old one, but like super deep, super cool. I always say if it's, a, if it's not Disney, it's over my head. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yup. And favorite book? Ooh. Other than the Bible, I got to go with Love Does by Bob Goff. I remember mm -hmm. the first time I read that. It's such a good yeah. book. And favorite Bible verse? I would say Philippians 4, 6. Um, the translation I memorized it in is like, do not worry about anything. It said, pray about everything if you do this. Um, or like, tell God your needs. Don't forget to thank him for his answers. Um, and he will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. That's been like a verse my grandma gave to me or kind of showed me when I was little. And it's just, it stuck with me for a while. So yeah, it's one of my favorites. I actually wearing a ring right now that has that verse. Oh, super yeah. cool. That's awesome. And this is not a rapid fire question, but uh, how can we be praying for you? Yeah, no, I appreciate that a ton. Um, like I said, my wife and I just moved to Nashville a couple months ago. And like we had in Memphis had a really good community of people and um, it, it's been hard leaving that and just feeling like we've kind of started over a little bit. Um, but our prayer has just been like, we know that God is everywhere and we know that he's, he's been preparing the people and the community and just kind of the place for us here in Nashville. Like we definitely feel like this is where we need to be. It's just kind of been um, waiting and, and seeking like what, what exactly he's calling us to here um, so yeah, I guess just like prayer for, um, just faith to continue trusting in that and, and wisdom as we make a lot of decisions and figure out a lot of unknowns, um, and just try not to get wrapped up in the newness of everything. Um, just, just remember like where, where God's brought us kind of a broad thing, but yeah, just, just faith and, and wisdom through that process. Yeah. I'll be praying for you and I'm sure everyone else that nearly released today will be too. So Thank you yeah. so much for your time today. It was so great being to talk with you. That means a ton. So glad to be here. And yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, of course. Have a good day. You too. Bye.